Hi, everybody. Welcome to Jasmine's Way. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to like, comment, and hit that notification button so you'll be notified each and every time we upload a new video. I am going to be giving a reaction video to Miss Deja, who released a video like a cute Q&A type video thingy. And of course, you know, clicking on there, wanting to see if she's bringing up anything about our Miss Ellie. You know, Deja did comment on one of my videos expressing the fact that about this plan that 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 um they didn't find out they were a part of until the end and ellie when she dropped in here for the tea good job here for the tea again you did a great great job with that when she dropped into here for the teas live she said that the only plan was for her to escape mr d's house and that she knew little bits and pieces so she was like thinking like she didn't you know like what is she talking about with this other stuff but anyway Deja in her video that she just released expressed the fact that this is basically not a friendship she's going to rekindle. That she learned a lot about the situation after the fact, which still ties into what she said about finding out some things at the end of it all. Now, I did commentary on Deja when she did her telling her side of the story video. And some things I want to kind of bring back up and 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 do some comparison contracts just different things or just whatever you want to call it i just want to bring some things up so i know a lot of people they brought up the fact about the collab or whatever like that that deja did with with zaddy chunk chunk um in which deja had expressed in her first tell telling her story video that that was in a process before the breakup and that she had text ellie before the video was released and Ellie didn't say anything, like she had a problem with it and then started, you know, having a problem with it after it was released. Yes, you know, Deja, I've said in the other video, you know, hey, I could have named it something different, this or that, blah, blah. But anyway, Deja in that video, when she was telling her side of the story, she said, and I remember this and I this always stuck with me because she said the fact that Ellie so had blocked her off of the Instagram account she has with us. Now, Deja, if I'm quoting something wrong, please write in the comment section. Correct me, please. I have no problem with that. But I remember her saying this because she said she could understand why she blocked her from the account with us. However, didn't block her from the personal account. So she was like, is this like some type of storyline, et cetera, et cetera. And so... This is the point I'm trying to make with this. Ellie said that the, the, the relationship was never an open relationship, right? Remember, she said that. It was always a real relationship. She said that it was Davin's idea for the open relationship, blah, blah. Davin has yet to speak on any of this at all. So we're all basing everything off of kind of what Ellie Soul said. And I have been a supporter in Ellie Soul telling her truth, you know, believing her. But as some other channels have stated also, where are the receipts? Okay, you know, we, we're not, there. you know, like, this is the thing. I watched a variety of channels reacting. You know, I, I really enjoy True First um, Live. I, I enjoy Connection Rejections reaction i was even in triple headed goddess and i actually enjoyed her commentary um i saw the part one i know she released part two but she was hitting on some good points like she really was making some good valid points you know and i'm not taking anything away from if this woman has been abused and no, none of these women have taken that away none of them have I, I don't feel anybody has, but some people are just still holding her a little bit more accountable than some others are. Even True First said, even with Deja, she really, you know, Deja's young. She kept bringing up Deja so young because Deja's early 20s. You know, like she was like, this young lady is very young. And she is. She's young. Like Ellie's early 30s. But Deja's point I'm trying to make, I was trying to make a point with this. Um... Ellie So brought up the fact that she went along with the open relationship, right? That whole for the content, this or that. And look at, I'm looking at this other thing. 
you unfriend her on the platform with us on Instagram, but yet not your personal one. What was that about? Anybody want to write in the comment section what they think about that? So, yes, that was Dalvin's idea. You're saying for the open relationship, the pretend like it. So, you know, um, it's good for content, ratings, or something about so the, some women going to be trying to start some mess. Some stuff she was saying. And then, then you... Tudo chose to unfriend Deja on um, your account, Instagram account with us, but not on your personal. Is that a storyline too? And I know connection rejection. And if I'm if I'm quoting anybody wrong, please y'all correct me in the comment section because the Lord knows I'm not perfect. But I know connection rejection has always felt that these things are storylines. And um, yeah, and then, you know, like I said before, that's just interesting. I'm just I just want to point that out to you guys. I, I I find that to be very, very interesting. Um, and so what else did I have to say about this? Right, so Deja, in the first video you did telling your side of the story, you did mention she was in a new relationship. And I know some people were like. I think somebody in my comment section when I had did the commentary on that said, you're spreading rumors, you're spreading lies. But there's been some other people who I've heard say that they've seen evidence as well of Ellie being in another relationship. And the only point I'm trying to make with this is, and I'm not, this is the thing, I'm not trying to take anything away from what this woman has experienced. Lord knows I am not. I have totally supported Ellie telling her truth. The only thing I don't want her to do is to be being all emotional on social media. Like, only because, like, don't, 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 like, I just want her to heal, you know, um, with a with with a mom, you know, like not, you know, it it, it took a lot out of me to hear. The conversation she had with here with the T. And then, you know, I fell to sleep where I think here with the T caps them, they were doing a live. And then I woke up. I was just, in, I, I was, when I woke up that morning and did that, that short video I did, I was very emotional. It took, it did take a toll on me because I could feel this woman's pain. So I'm not taking nothing away from her experience. But I am going to point out other things that I see and others are saying as well, you know, um, in regards to all of this. <sighs> you know, so Deja, you said in your first video when you were telling us how the story is three sides to every every story. You know, we really are hearing Ellie's side. You're telling us your side here and there, just like she is. Everybody's being kind of careful. Davin is just totally ignoring it and moving on, like doing him. Um, it's just all interesting. And like I said, you know, um, some people are just holding her a little bit more accountable, you know, as far as her decision to, you know, move in with this man. Nobody made you do that. Um, uh, pretend to have an open relationship. Nobody made you do that. Um, you know, um, someone he brought up, I think that might've been, and I know that, I know Triple Head Goddess was holding her accountable, but she wasn't taking away what she experienced. And I know Truth Hurts, she was um, speaking about the narcissistic behavior of people and just the abuse and the, and, and, and the way, the, helping people to understand how the reason why this woman is, is responding the way she is because she's so hurt. And then I know connection rejection was expressed just the fact of, you know, um, is this about money with you too, Ellie? So, and like I said, if I'm calling anybody wrong, please y'all correct me, please. Cause I like everybody had these points and it made a lot of, it was valid points. Like it was very valid points. And it, um, it was just very interesting, you know, and I know somebody, um, I think that's miss, um, Lawson has constantly said, please just come out with the tell it all just tell it all tell it all and a lot of people have said that like just tell it all tell it all as far as with ellie sold her receipts but deja back to you um uh, yeah you know you have a right to tell your truth just like she's 
telling her truth. I think that's really all I have to say. I feel like like I don't even know if I made any points out of this. I just I just find it interesting. You know what I'm saying? I've been really enjoying the commentary of so many different people. And I apologize I haven't mentioned some others that I've been watching as well. But I really have enjoyed the, the commentary. It's, it's been fantastic. Like, man, wow, that make a lot of sense. Like that, 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 you know, like, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I really would love to know what, what, what his mother thinks of this, Mr. D's mother, you know, um, they're probably not going to say nothing. No, they may, I don't know. They may say something like he's moved. He's, he's doing him. Like he, he not phased. He hasn't been phased period. I mean, I don't know if he's going through something behind closed doors, but in front of the camera, pfft, Brother man, like whatever. I mean, the only person that honestly seems really uh, like bothered by this is is Ellie. Like even Deja was very calm, composed in her video, happy, relaxed. Um, Nicole, of course, is happy, relaxed. Um, you know, Davin, of course, is doing everybody's everybody's like chill, you know. But Ellie and you know, we just gonna have to pray for this sister's healing. And, you know, whatever's done in the dark, it always comes to light, y'all. We know that. It comes to light. So it's going to all come out. It's going to come out. All right? And on that note, I think I've said everything I need to say. And all of those channels that I mentioned, please su subscribe to them. And um, on that note, peace. Oh, and Deja, you are entitled to tell your truth. Okay? All right. Bye.